Hello, today we are going to check the ground on your scooter. In this video, we show you how. Well, hello and welcome to my video. Today, we are going to check the ground on your scooter. The ground on your scooter is one of the most important things of your scooter, really. Because testing the ground will tell you if uh, your motor is grounded or your frame is grounded and is grounded perfect. What does it mean grounded? You know, if you really go to the battery and you put the negative part of the battery, that's the negative part of the battery. When, but when you really connect a negative part of the battery to the frame or to the motor, they will become the ground, okay? So the ground is one of the things that is really important for your health of the scooter with the electrical system, you know? If you have some time short on the ground, you might have a problem. So you're going to need a multimeter that is uh, really affordable. You know, these ones you can buy for uh, $8, $6 online. You know, you don't really need to have the one that are really high tech, you know, the more professional ones. Just something that is really simple. I will put a link down here, one simple one on Amazon that uh, you can buy. But in the same time, you can also go to Arbor Freight and get the cheapest multimeter that you can find and that will help you. They used to give this one for free a long time ago. Now they no longer give them for free, you know, sometime as a special, but now they have other things. But still, this one is pretty affordable and that's all you need to check your ground or your scooter. Why sometimes you need to check your ground or your scooter? Sometimes your scooter is not working perfectly. You know, sometimes you don't have the right spark plug, you know, fire, and that's maybe why your spark plug is not running perfectly. Because uh, the outside part right here, the spark plug, that is the ground. And the center part of the spark plug is the electrode, that is the positive part right here in the center. But the outside part is the part that really is the ground. So if uh, you don't have the best spark, that means there is some problem around. That means. Uh, could be the CDI, could be that you have background, it could be that the ground wire that goes from the battery to the motor or the battery to the frame is not right anymore, it's not good anymore. So you need to change that, you know, that wire and get a better one or maybe even put a double ground to your motor to have a better spark. So it's something really important that you have to check because if you don't have the right spark and you're like, hmm, what's going on? Why I don't have the right spark? that this could be one of the problems. So you have to poke around and see what's going on with your ground. And at this point, I will show you how to do that right now. Check. Okay, to check the ground on your scooter, you're going to need a multimeter. That's the first thing you really need. After that, you need to find where is the battery on your GY650cc scooter. That will be underneath the mat, right here where you place your feet. Now you put this one up right here, you Open the little cover that you have over here. And that's the cover. Sometimes you have two screws. And you're going to see the battery. Right here we have the battery. So what you're going to do, you're going to place the multimeter right here in a way that it's going to stand up and you can read it pretty good or you can lay it flat. But what you're going to do, you want to check the battery. Now, I want to place the multimeter right here on DCV, direct current voltage, to 20, okay? And you turn on the multimeter. Now, you want, I want you to put one of the probe right here on the positive side of the battery, okay? And one on the negative. So you're going to get the reading of your battery. My battery at the moment is around, let's see, is 13, 14. You know, that's a good battery voltage for now, for this scooter. Now, to check how is the ground, you want to keep the red probe on the positive part of the battery and going around, you can touch your motor or you can touch your frame with this part right here that will be the negative part. Now, touching the motor or touching any part of the frame, you should have the same reading that you're getting right here at the 1314 
or slightly less maybe you can have slightly less uh, but more or less you should have the same reading so let's go to touch the motor with this one and we're going to see the reading that we are going to get now touching right here the motor where is the bolt uh, of the fan cover you should get the same reading that you get from the battery okay and you should get 1314 you know I'm getting 1313 or 1312 and that's pretty good now you should get the one right here the bolt at 1313 is perfect now if you go right here on the frame you should get more or less the same okay you want to test them. this uh, negative part that will be the ground uh, in a place that is not painted because if it's paint you can have uh, a little bit of uh, uh, different reading okay but you want to check everywhere right here where you can see that is not painted so you can check the voltage Now the important thing that you should check is the voltage that you get in, in the motor, at the motor, okay? Just by pressing the negative part to the motor. So if you get the more or less the same reading that you get when you have this part right here, that is negative part connected to the motor, is a great ground that you have on your scooter. Now remember, everything is connected to the ground. Even your horn on the system, on your system, is connected to the ground. So if your horn is not working right, you could have some problem with the ground in the system. So double check here, plus you can also check your center stand, and you should get a reading at the center stand, because the center stand is part of the frame. So you should get a reading on the center stand. So remember, one part goes to the battery, that will be the positive part, and the other probe right here, you go touch around in places left and right on the frame or on the motor to making sure that you have the right reading, okay? You, have the, you need to have the same reading that you have by touching the battery with this probe right here. Now, if you get the same reading, you're good. Your scooter has a good ground. So it's very important to have the same reading on the battery and on the frame and on the motor. If you're not going to get a good reading when you're testing the motor, you might not have a perfect spark to your spark plug when your scooter is working, okay? Also, remember, your stator, your bobina is working on the ground. So I understand it's producing positive current, but it is, is the base of that is having the ground on the motor. So it's having the ground on the motor is producing positive current to the scooter. So if you don't have a good ground, you're not producing great current and might not recharge your battery the right way or not enough. Okay, so that could be one of the solution or problem that you could have. At this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. This is a short video and it's an easy one. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time. I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video and have a great day.